Hi guys, I'm Song Young Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make steak idong. Oh, by the way, steak idong is a steak rice bowl in Japanese. So I had this amazing steak idong in Japan, and a lot of you guys want me to recreate this dish, and I wanted to recreate it for myself. So I decided to do it today. So let's get started. I prepared the one pound of New York strip steak, but you can really prepare any any type of steak that your favorite. I have a New York Street right here. I'm just gonna set aside because the first thing we need to do is mix up the sauce. Two tablespoons of soy sauce. Got to have a soy sauce. Two tablespoons of mirin, seasoned rice wine. It's Japanese cooking wine. And one tablespoon of sake. It's a Japanese rice wine and a teaspoon of Usher sauce sauce. All right, now let's add a half teaspoon, not half teaspoon, so one tablespoon of sugar. Let's just stir this. The sauce is ready to go. I'm gonna crush one garlic, just ready to go right here with the sauce. And I have a two tablespoon of butter I already prepared right here. So yeah, we are pretty much ready to start to cook the steak. Oh, by the way, by now you want to cook your rice ahead. This is a steak dong. It's a steak rice ball. So you need rice, okay? <laughs> All right. I was heating up my cast iron pan. So they are really nice, smoky and hot. And if you want to go ahead and season the steak really lightly with salt, and I don't recommend you to put too much salt at this moment because the seasoning the savory part is coming from the sauce that this sauce mixture the soy sauce and the usha sauce, sauce and everything first the couple of bites is supposed to be almost like i feel like i need more seasoning that's what you want that's the key of japanese food the japanese cuisine seasoning and i highly recommend it to use a cast iron pan and i'm actually using this small size whenever i am pouring the sauce mixture it won't uh, evaporate too fast to too quick. Sear the steak two to three minutes each side. Cook two to three minutes more for medium rare and four to five minutes for medium or as long as you want to cook to you know your desired mess of your steak. But right one minute before you want to take out the steak add two tablespoons of butter and the smashed garlic. If you wanna use this fancy chef skill, go ahead and grab a spoon and tilt the pan and splash the garlic butter all over the steak. Mm, oh my goodness. Now remove the steak from the pan, turn off the heat, and pour the sauce mixture into the pan. Because we are using cast iron pan, it keeps the heat really, really well. So as soon as you pour the sauce, it will start to boil right away. And we are just gonna cook the sauce with the remaining heat like this. And by the time, your steak must be nice and rest. So we are gonna slice the steak, but when we are slicing the steak, slice, slicing the steak, remember that we wanna cut as thin as possible because we wanna eat this steak uh, with chopstick on top of the rice. So we won't have any knife and fork to serve with us. Just this is style of the dishes like that. So little diagonal angle and slice it really, really thinly and actually this one pound of steak usually can be just one serving but for this recipe it's a two serving mm -hmm. <laughs> all right i have a bowl of warm cooked rice right here one cup per serving so i just decorated with some little lettuce because that's how japanese restaurant did it too so and here to reduce some of this sauce oh and remember to smash down this garlic Mm, so all the garlic flavor will be get into the sauce and that's what we want. Remember this sauce is for two serving and we are making only one bowl right here. So only quarter of them to the rice, just like that. And place a half amount of the steak right top of the rice. Oh, <laughs> aren't they look so good or what? But we are not done yet. I'll wait for it. I'll wait for this moment. Guys. Drizzle the sauce right on top.
started my steak dong recipe, the Japanese style steak rice bowl, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house, making it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longast, and this is Asian at Home. And I will see you next time. Bye! <laughs>